Stretch marks can often be overlooked by healthcare professionals because they don't pose an obvious risk to health. But it's more important than ever to advise patients after a recent survey reported one in two women suffer ongoing psychological issues due to stretch marks. We are joined by consultant dermatologist Dr. Justine Hextel, who will explain how and when stretch marks form and how your patients can help to prevent them during pregnancy. Justine, why do you think it's so important for healthcare professionals to provide stretch mark advice? I think it's really important and the statistics are no surprise to me. It completely makes sense that patients who have had major surgery or new mums who we know have gone through significant changes in both body and life at home will be more vulnerable to developing ongoing psychological issues. Giving them advice can not only help them to understand why they form, but also help to provide emotional reassurance about living with their stretch marks. What you need to know is that stri or stretch marks, as they are more commonly known, occur as a result of the skin suddenly stretching, causing the deeper layers of the dermis to break in places. This allows it to show through the top layer of the skin. Stria often occur during a period of rapid weight gain, pregnancy, or during growth spurts in puberty. Stretch marks commonly occur in the third trimester of pregnancy, but can start forming much earlier. The first sign may be itchiness around an area where the skin is becoming thin and pink. Although they may first appear as red lines or streaks, they fade, gradually leaving white, depressed or pale wrinkled lines on the skin. Certain factors make some more susceptible to developing stretch marks, including the family history of stretch marks, baby's birth weight, and the number of babies being carried, e.g. twins or triplets. Prevalence is also higher in women who are overweight prior to pregnancy and those whose pregnancy weight gain is more than average. As mentioned before, stretch marks can have both a physical and psychological impact. Physically, they can be itchy, uncomfortable or have a burning sensation. And psychologically, over a quarter of midwives say they frequently see women with low body confidence or self-esteem because of their stretch marks with 60% of new mums reporting feeling unprepared for the skin and body changes they experienced. By helping patients to understand why they form with advice on preventing them, and by providing that emotional reassurance, you will help to provide a better understanding and as such improved confidence and an acceptance of these changes. So what are the steps that women can take to help prevent or lessen the number of stretch marks they develop? The advice I would give is to aim for a healthy, steady weight gain during pregnancy. So, continue to do gentle exercise and have a healthy diet. In fact, eating foods such as oily fish, nuts and avocados, which are rich in vitamin E and C, zinc and silica, are fantastic because they help to support healthy growth of collagen. I would also advocate gentle exercise as this gives good circulation to our skin and muscles and helps to keep us healthy and of course toned which improves the overall appearance. And when stretch marks first developed, they are often dry and itchy so keep the skin well hydrated with regular use of an oil or cream, especially from the second trimester onwards. It's going to help to relieve symptoms and actually it's very good for skin advice generally but some people will still develop them. And that's down to those factors mentioned before, such as genetics, diet, and skin elasticity. So it's important to reassure them that stretch marks are common. There are things they can do to help them. And in most cases, they will improve over time. Livid red marks will become thin, silvery lines, which are often very difficult to detect. Thank you, Justine, that was really insightful. Following on from Justine's advice, bio oil can be used to help prevent stretch mark development or lessen the appearance of existing ones. For best results, bio oil should be massaged in circular motion until fully absorbed and should be used twice a day for a minimum of three months. For pregnancy stretch marks, bio oil should be applied twice a day to the abdomen, hips and breasts from the start of the second trimester and beyond. If you would like to find out more information about BioOil, download our resources or complete our free CPD accredited e-learning module, then please visit our BioOil Healthcare Professional website at bio-oilprofessional.co.uk.